Today I'm going to talk about the differences between Thunderbolt and USB 4 and uh, help you decide which one you should buy. So they both look the same, uh, but they're not exactly the same, uh, but they have a lot of similarities between them and they have compatibility uh, between them or some compatibility between them. and so I'm going to explain that as we go through the video. USB 4 offers versatility or versatile connectivity with uh, standard features. Thunderbolt 4 provides high speed data transfer and advanced capabilities. Uh, they have a lot of stuff in common. One thing is they both use USB-C connectors. Uh, they both have a port for data transfer up to 40 gigabits per second but not all USB four devices reach this speed. Uh, they both support video output, so you can use them for external monitor. Uh, and both deliver power up to 100 watts. So Thunderbolt 4 has robust power delivery, comprehensive device compatibility, and consistent 40 gigabit speeds. Uh, USB 4 has adequate power delivery, selective device compatibility and uh, variable uh, 40 gigabyte speed. One way to look at the two is um, particularly if you're not specifically using Thunderbolt um, is they're not two, they're totally separate uh, protocols, although actually they are two separate protocols. They're not totally like two separate protocols because if you have a Thunderbolt 4 um, port on your laptop, for example, you can plug a USB 4 device into it, uh, but you won't get the full uh, benefits of Thunderbolt 4. And the opposite is also true. If you have a Thunderbolt 4 device and you plug it into a USB 4 uh, port, the device will still work, but you'll lose some of the features that the device might be using that are Thunderbolt exclusive features. So it's a, it, this makes it like they're not t totally separate. Uh, because of that compatibility, but you lo may lose features on your device if you connect it into a, a port uh, th that doesn't support the full features of Thunderbolt if it's a Thunderbolt device. So why would we choose uh, USB 4 over Thunderbolt if Thunderbolt is, has extra features? For one thing, it's more aff affordable and it, it's found in budget-friendly laptops. It's widely compatible. Um, so it's compatible with USB-C, it's compatible with USB 3.2, and even some Thunderbolt 3 devices. Uh, it's best for general use, great for connecting monitors, docking stations, and uh, storage devices. Not all USB 4 devices are the same. Some of them uh, run at 20 gigabits instead of 40 gigabits, and uh, they, they don't all support PCIe, which affects external um, SSDs and GPUs. So why use Thunderbolt 4 then? It's guaranteed high performance. Every Thunderbolt 4 device runs 40 gigabit speeds. Has full support of PCIe support needed for external GPUs, high speed SSDs, and pro docking stations. So you get you get uh, better support for docking stations and uh, high speed uh, data transfer on SSDs. Daisy chaining. You can actually you can actually daisy chain up to six Thunderbolt devices. And then there's a uh, more it's a more reliable standard because it's certified uh, by Intel uh, for maximum compatibility and stability. Uh, and it's best for Power users, ideal for creatives, video editors, and gamers who need high-speed uh, external devices. So it's kind of a high-end power user device often uh, when you're doing things like uh, video editing or you need uh, high-speed uh, storage devices. So here's the compatibility breakdown is USB 4 works on more devices, including laptops, that uh, don't have Thunderbolt support. Thunderbolt 4 devices work with USB-C and USB 4, but full features only work on Thunderbolt certified ports. So once again, you can use a Thunderbolt 4 device on USB 4, but you're not going to get the performance and you'll lose some features of it. For Mac users, if you have an Apple Silicon Mac, Thunderbolt 3 and 4 are your best bet for full compatibility and high speed accessories. So Macs come with Thunderbolt ports. So that's one thing to remember. So they have that capability built in into them usually, which isn't always the case with a Windows uh, laptop or 
PC. Windows users need to check their specs. Many Windows laptops have USB 4, but not all support Thunderbolt. So just as a general rule of thumb, Apple will support Thunderbolt in general. Uh, with Windows, it's kind of a mixed bag, but Windows will, will definitely support USB 4, but even then you have to kind of look to see what port levels it's supporting. Uh, so you're going to cho choose e USB 4. Uh, it's compatible with more devices and versatile option for non-Thunderbolt laptop. You choose Thunderbolt 4, uh, it offers full features, certified ports, and is ideal for Apple Mac. So which should you buy? Um, for everyday users, USB 4 is cheaper, widely compatible, and great for dock stations and monitors. For power users, Thunderbolt 4 is better for external GPUs, high-speed US high-speed SSDs, and uh, multiple monitors. So in general, USB 4 is uh, cost-effective, kind of more everyday uh, for everyday users. Thunderbolt 4 is uh, high performance for really demanding tasks. Both are, are great protocols, but you get a little bit more out of Thunderbolt 4. Thunderbolt 4 is really the better protocol, uh, but for most people, you wouldn't notice the difference between the two, and for most uses, you wouldn't notice the uh, difference between the two. It's really the high-end users that might be using Thunderbolt 4 or might get the most out of the advantages that Thunderbolt 4 has over USB 4. And as far as compatibility goes, uh, if you have uh, either port or either device, they'll work with each other. The uh, problem is, is you'll just lose some of the features of Thunderbolt 4, which may or may not make a difference depending on what your use case scenario is uh, for the port.